<laughs> awesome. Okay. Thank you all so much for joining me for a 60 minute yoga class. We're going to do three rounds of sun salutations to warm up our body. And then we will hop into 26 and two yoga for the sun salutes. You can come towards the top of your mat with your feet close together. I'm going to stand back a bit and show you in periphery, bring your hands together, heart center. And we'll begin with three rounds of Surya Namaskar, a sun salute. As you inhale, lift your arms up overhead, look up as if you were saluting or greeting the sun. Exhale, bend your knees, fold forward, hands to floor, relax your head. Inhale, lengthen into a halfway lift. You can have your hands on your thighs, your shins, or even the floor in front of you. Exhale, bend your knees, plant your hands on the floor and step back into a tabletop or, um, pardon me, into a plank or tabletop. On your next exhale, hug your elbows in and lower down as if you're pulling yourself down to the floor. Inhale, come up into your back bend. You can do cobra with elbows bent and thighs on the floor or up dog with arms straight and thighs off the floor. Exhale, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up for down dog. You can bend one knee, straighten the other, and then try to press your heels to the floor, hips to the ceiling. If down dog isn't working for you, come down onto your knees, take a child's pose instead, sink your hips down as you stretch your arms forward. On your next inhale, hands to the floor, look forward, step forward, lengthen back into your halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees, fold. Inhale, arms with your ears, lift up, look up. Exhale, hands down at heart center. Two more, inhale, lift your arms, look up. Exhale, bend your knees, fold. Inhale, look forward, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to floor, step back into your high plank or tabletop. Let's hold our plank for a moment. If that lowering down motion doesn't work for you, skip it entirely, go straight from your plank or tabletop directly into your down dog or child's pose. Otherwise, take a vinyasa, hug your elbows in, imagine you're pulling yourself down to the floor, and then inhale, come up into your back bend. If you're doing up dog, make sure thighs off the floor. Exhale, hips up for down dog or hips down for child's pose. If you're doing down dog, spread your fingers wide, root down through all 28 knuckles, especially the space between your index finger and thumb. On your next inhale, look forward, step forward, lengthen, halfway lift, shoulders away from ears. Exhale, bend your knees, fold, relax your head. Inhale, hands together, arms with your ears, lift up, look up. Exhale, hands down at heart center. Last one, inhale, lift your arms, look up. Exhale, bend your knees, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step back, high plank, keep exhaling, lower down. Inhale, your back bend. Exhale, down dog or child's pose. Last down dog, try to get your heels to the floor. If you have tight hamstrings, you can take a slightly bigger step and let your knees bend ever so slightly. Press the floor away from you. Look for your thighs behind you. On your next inhale, look forward, step forward, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach your eyes, lift up. Exhale, hands down. Wonderful, so that's our little warm up. We will now hop into our beloved 26 and two yoga sequence. Come to the middle of your mat space for pranayama deep breathing. Bring your feet together, toes, heels touching nicely. Interlock your 10 fingers, cross your thumbs, glue your knuckles underneath your chin. Rock your weight into your heels. Relax your shoulders down away from your ears. Concentrate, meditate, and begin. Inhale, chin down and arms up. Breathe in through your nose. Lift your elbows up. Suck your stomach in. Fill up your lungs. Exhale, head up. Exhale through your mouth. H-A, sound head back. Arms forward, elbows touch. Good, inhale. Slowly bring your chin down. Look straight ahead. Lift your elbows all the way up. Breathe deep, full lungs. Exhale, head up. Slowly push your head back. Look way, way, way back, arms forward, elbows touch, pointing forward. Inhale, bring your elbows out and up, slowly chin down, breathe deep, full lungs. Exhale, head up, sweep your arms forward, stretch your arms forward, look back, elbows touch, pointing away from your body. Inhale, head down, breathe in through your nose, down through your throat to the very bottom of your lungs. Exhale, head up as you exhale, open your mouth wide like you're fogging up a mirror on the ceiling. <sighs> Push all the air out. Inhale, head down. Every new inhale, you wanna take in more air than the last breath to expand your lung capacity. Exhale, head up. The more you exhale here, the more fresh oxygen you can take in on your next breath. Push the air out. 
Inhale, head down. This is the last breath in the first set. Spine a little longer, elbows a little higher, lungs a little fuller. Suck your stomach in, breathe deep, full lungs. Exhale, head up, take your time. Eyes open, hips forward, legs lock, stomach in. Keep exhaling, push, squeeze, elbows touch. Good, change, arms down. Second set, feet together, interlock your 10 fingers, cross your thumbs and glue your knuckles underneath your chin. Squeeze your thighs, squeeze your butt, grow taller out of the base of your spine and begin. Inhale, chin down and arms up. Breathe in through your nose, lift your elbows up, suck your stomach in, fill up your lungs. Exhale, head up, exhale through your mouth, slowly head back, slowly arms forward, keep exhaling, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, keep the weight in your heels. Glue your ankle bones together, squeeze your thighs, squeeze your butt. Exhale, head up, lock your legs. Weight stays in your heels, hips a little forward, hip muscles contracting, thigh muscles tight. Inhale, head down as you inhale, suck your stomach in. Depression to abdominal wall, contraction to abdominal muscles. Exhale, head up, even as you exhale, abdomen in, shoulders down, elbows up, triceps parallel to the floor. Inhale, head down, make this the deepest breath so far. Breathe in the top of the lungs, middle of the lungs, bottom of the lungs, full lungs. Exhale, head up. In our day-to-day -day life, we don't really use the full lung capacity, but the lungs need to be worked out like any other part of the body. Inhale, head down. This is the last breath. Second set, make it the deepest breath of your life. When your lungs are totally full, surprise yourself. Take in one more sip of air. Exhale, head up. Take your time, let everything go through the exhale breath. Any worries, any cares, let them go. Elbows touch. Good, change, arms down. Ardha Chandrasana with Padastasana. Half moon with hands to feet pose, feet together. Inhale, arms overhead, palms together. Interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, cross your thumbs, nice tight grip, stretch up, and bend right and left, right and left. Every time you pass through the middle, stretch up a little taller, and then come to stop in the middle. Bring the weight into your heels. Push your hips a little forward, squeeze your palms together, bring your head and arms back. Inhale, breathing, stretch up, out of your waist, try to touch the ceiling. Exhale, breathing, absolutely straight line, slowly bend your body to the right. Without bending your elbows and knees, looks good. Continuously push your hips to the left beyond your flexibility. It's worth noting that I'm not mirroring you. So it might look like I'm um, bending to the left when in fact I'm bending to the right. You are welcome to follow my words or my body. Either way, just know that we will do the right side of postures first. So with that in mind, as you inhale, lengthen your arms to the right. As you exhale, come down, push your hips to the left, push, 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 change, inhale to come up, hips forward, arms back, stretch up, and slowly bend your body to the left in a straight line. Without bending your elbows and knees, continuously push your hips to the right beyond your flexibility, creating a tremendous stretching feeling in the right side of your body, all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingers to toes. Keep the weight in your heels, hips a little more forward, upper body back, touch your biceps to your ears. Push your right hip forward to get your two hips in line. Now bring your left shoulder forward, open your chest like a flower petal blooming in March. Come down, push, push, push. Change and heel to come up. First back bend of the day. This is the only posture I can't show and tell at the same time. Take a deep breath, full lungs, keep your eyes open, relax your head back as far as it goes. Look for the floor behind you, squeeze your butt, lift your chest and bring your arms back with your ears, try to touch the wall behind you. So whole spine back bending, whole front of the body stretching, keep the weight in your heels. Inhale, breathing, push, stomach, thighs, hips, everything forward and bring your arms back, look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back, good, change. Inhale to come up, stretch up, lengthen. Exhale, bend your knees, go down. Hands to floor, relax your head, go for a walk, move your hips, shake your head. This is a U-turn from back bending to forward folding. At the beginning of class, your spine might not be quite warmed up yet. Move your hips to get your lower back nice, relaxed, comfortable, easy, flexible. Hands to feet pose, Padastasana. Bend your knees halfway. You can grab the backs of your calves, your Achilles, or your heels from underneath. Pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes, and lift your hips up. Stretch your upper body down from the lower spine to the floor. Pulling is the object of stretching. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling on the back of your body, all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingers to toes with a smiling, happy face. Good, change, come on up. Arms with the ears, knees can bend. Very nice, arms down. 
and you stand a little taller, right? That's the whole goal. Suck and set, feet together, inhale, arms overhead, palms together, interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs, hips forward, arms back, stretch up tall, and slowly drop to the right as you press your hips to the left. Come down without bending elbows, without bending knees, without like holding your breath or gritting your teeth, relax your jaw, lift your chin, lift your chest. It's a very proud posture and you have so much to be proud of for practicing yoga today. Good for you. On the inhale breath, lengthen your arms. On the exhale, come down, push, push, push. Change, inhale to come up, hips forward, arms back, stretch up and slowly drop to the left as you press your hips to the right. So throughout class, you'll heal, you will hear invitations to get deeper into postures like come down, push. It does not have to apply to you. If you're new, if you're dealing with an illness, an injury, maybe you're just a little cranky today, stay light and lifted. Think of the whole yoga class as one big breathing exercise. On days that you feel good, that's when you go deeper. Inhale, lengthen the arms. Exhale, come down, push, push, push. Change, inhale to come up. Second heart opener, deep breath, full lungs. Keep your eyes open, drop your head back, squeeze your butt, lift your index fingers up to the ceiling and imagine you're tracing your fingers along the ceiling down the back wall. Notice if the uh, wrists are bending and the elbows start to come, hands start to come apart, straighten your wrists, squeeze your palms together, push your arms back, bring your arms back, look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back. Change, inhale to come up, stretch up. Exhale, go down, flat back, hands to floor, relax your head, go for another walk, move your hips, shake your head. And second set, here we go, bend your knees. You can grab the backs of your legs or your heels from underneath. I almost fell forward. There is a first time for everything. Pull on your heels so you don't fall forward and lift your hips up. Stretch your upper body down from the lower spine to the floor. So sometimes I say find your edge, but I suppose I've never actually found it until just now. Pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes. Lift your hips up, push your knees back, try to lock your legs. Good, change, come up, biceps with ears, knees together, nice. Arms down, take a breath. Awkward, Ukatasana, step your right foot to the right, six inches, hip width distance, insides of your feet parallel. Arms up, parallel to the floor, triceps tight, stomach in, bend your knees, sit back and down into a chair. Feet flat to position, spine straight to begin with, 100% of your body weight in your heels. Keep your knees in line with your hips and start to lift up. Lift your chin up, chest up, lean back, fall back, way back, change. Inhale to come up, keep your arms there. Push your hips a little forward, spread your toes wide. Now come up maximum on your tippy tippy toes like a ballerina. Lift your heels, stretch up, bend your knees, sit down. Lean back, touch your head and hips to an imaginary wall behind you. Heels a little higher, knees a little higher. Sit down into a chair, but don't sit below a chair. Change, inhale to come up. Last part, still breathing. Squeeze your knees together. Let your heels come a little bit off the floor and slowly sit down. Take your time, stop whenever you want, or keep sitting down until there's a half inch gap between your hips and your heels. Lift your chest, soften your shoulders, re-engage your fingertips, change, slowly come up, knees together, push the floor away from you, good. Heels down, right foot back, arm down, standing tall. Second set, step your right foot to the right, same footprint, hip width distance, insides of your feet parallel, arms up, parallel to the floor, triceps tight, abdomen in, bend your knees, Sit back and down. You can stick your butt out and fold forward to get your thighs parallel to the floor. Stomach in, shoulders back and down. Lift your chin up, stomach in, chest up, eyes open. Change, inhale to come up, keep your arms there. Push your hips a little forward, spread your toes wide, lift your heels. We're starting to play with balance. Stretch up, abdomen in, bend your knees, sit down. Keep your triceps tight, try to tuck your tailbone under. Heels a little higher, knees a little higher, sit down into a chair but don't sit below a chair. Change, inhale to come up, last part, still breathing. Squeeze your knees together, let your heels come just a little off the floor and slowly sit down. The slower you do, the better you do. Like an elevator ride, when you get to the ground floor, you slow down even more. Squeeze your knees together and forward, lift your chest, re-engage your triceps, change, slowly come up, Keep your neck in line with the rest of your spine. Good, heels down, right foot back, arms down. Eagle pose, Garasana. We're gonna do the right side first. Inhale your arms over your head. Exhale, swing your right arm under left arm, right elbow under left elbow. Cross first at the elbows. Again, if you can at the wrists, palms together, thumbs towards your nose. You can also interlock fingers. 
grab a thumb or grab your shoulders and give yourself a big bear hug. Pull your elbows down, bend your knees, sit down into a chair, stay down there and bring your right leg over your left leg. Right leg over left leg, cross twist, and eventually wrap your right foot behind your left calf muscle. If your foot is coming out, sit down more. If you're losing your balance, arch your upper body back. Bring your knees to the right, upper body to the left, twist like ropes, sit down and lean back. Good, change. Feet together, arms over your head. Let's do the left side. Bring your left arm zoom, under your right arm. That's a technical term, zoom. Palms together, thumbs towards your nose, pinkies away from your face. Pull elbows down, sit down first. Try to keep your hips low into a chair and bring your left leg over your right leg. Left over right, cross twist and eventually wrap your foot. Doesn't have to be today or tomorrow. This side might look or feel a little or a lot different from the other side and that's okay. We're not symmetrical. Bring your knees to the left, upper body to the right, sit down and lean back. Good, change feet together, arms over your head, second set. Bring your right arm under left arm. Try to get fingers below the nose, wrist straight, pinkies in line, bend your knees, sit down. Try to keep your hips low and bring your right leg over your left leg. So just like the first part of awkward pose, to sit down more, you can stick your butt out and fold forward. Try to keep the weight in your heel, knees to the right, upper body to the left, and then lean your upper body back at the end. Good, change, feet together, arms over your head. Last one, left arm, under right arm. Try to get the thumbs in the center line of the body, not to the right of your uh, head. Pull elbows down, sit down, and bring left leg over right leg, left over right, cross twist. So today is an interesting day to practice yoga because we just experienced a time change, which will also affect um, what time the sun starts to set, which is usually during this class. So if you find that this class feels a little or a lot different, that is normal. Keep in mind, we're not just dealing with a seasonal transition, but also a time change today. So be gentle with yourself. Sit down more, lean your upper body back at the end. Good, change feet together, arms over your head, arms down, party time, grab a sip of water if you want. Cheers, friends. Lovely to be here with all of you. Ooh. Yeah, keep in mind that especially as we become like more in tune with our body through yoga, um, we might feel those seasonal transitions or the change in daylight a little bit more than when we are like more disembodied, right? So keep that in mind. I like to think of it as like maybe even a superpower, right? To be that in touch with yourself that you can feel these seasonal changes. Standing head to knee, Dande Amana, Johnny Shrasana, shift your weight to your left leg, evenly distribute your body weight on your left foot, lift your right leg up, you can point your toes, flex your toes, keep your toes flexed back to your face. Option to stay right here, or when you're ready, round down, interlock your 10 fingers up to the webbing underneath the ball of your right foot. From start to finish, standing legs should be solid concrete, one piece lamp post, unbroken. You have no knee if you've been coming for a while, and you know your left leg is locked, no bend, no wobble. Inhale, breathing, slowly, gently lift your right leg up. Stretch it forward until your right leg is exactly parallel to the floor, no higher, no lower, standing leg locked. If both legs lock, puff up your chest and then bend elbows down. Touch elbows to calf muscles. One day, elbows go below the calf muscles. Lock your knee, lock your knee, lock your knee. Change, slowly reverse out. Shift your weight to your right foot Evenly distribute your body weight on your right foot without grabbing the floor of your toes. Lift your left thigh up. You can point your toes, flex your toes. Keep your toes flexed back, abdomen in the whole time. Option to stay here or start to round down and eventually pick up your left foot. All 10 fingers interlocked. Lift your right kneecap. You want to use the muscles in your standing leg to keep your joints sturdy, stable in place. When you're ready, slowly lift your left leg up. For most folks, it takes the longest to um, lock the kicking leg. Kick your heel forward, flex your toes back. If both legs lock, bend elbows down, touch elbows to calf muscles, bring your shoulders down, chest down. One day, elbows go below the calf muscles. Change, slowly reverse out. You can put your hands on your back and do a little back bend, hmm, or knee bend, ha. Ah, second set, shift your weight to your left leg, lock your left leg, lift your right leg up, flex your toes back, round down, Pick up your right foot, all 10 fingers interlocked, concentrate, meditate, don't forget to have fun, inhale breathing, lift your right leg up. If both legs lock, bend elbows down. If elbows go below calf muscles, slowly tuck your chin to your chest, put your forehead on your knee, 
hold wherever you are for five, three, one. Take your time as you reverse out. Very nice, last one. Shift your weight to your right leg, contract your inner thigh, outer thigh, lift your knee, squeeze your glute. Lift your left leg up so you're using your muscle strength here. Flex your toes back, stomach engaged, round down, pick up your foot, all 10 fingers interlocked. Here we go, lift your left leg up. Try to keep your left heel in line with your hip, not crossing the center line of your body. If both legs lock, bend elbows down. Elbows go below calf muscles, slowly tuck your chin to your chest. Maybe put your forehead on your knee. Lock your knee, lock your knee, lock your knee. Take your time as you reverse out, step by step. Good for you. Standing bow pulling pose, Donna Yamana, Donna Rasana. Feet together, bring your right hand up, elbow touches the body, palm faces the ceiling. Bring your hand out to the right, give yourself a high five for practicing yoga today. Yes, reach back without turning or twisting your wrist. Pick up the inside of your right foot at the ankle bone, thumb with your index finger. Left arm up, right hip forward, knees together. Lock your left leg, point your right toes, take a deep breath, stretch up, and slowly charge your body forward. Simultaneously, kick your right leg back and up. Take your time. Slowly bring the body down and the leg up. See the foot come directly over the top of your head. So from the side, two heels in line. Kick back and up, two shoulders in line. Chin touches shoulder, shoulder blade scapula coming away from the body. Kicking, stretching, equal, simultaneous. 50-50, the harder you kick, you can balance forever. Kick really hard, body down more. Leg up more, kick, kick, kick. Good, change slowly, kick yourself up. Let's do the other side. Bring your left hand up, out to the left, reach back. Without turning or twisting your wrist, pick up the inside of your left foot at the ankle bone. Bring your right arm up, left hip forward, hips in line. We'll lift your right kneecap, point your left toes, lift your chin, stretch up, and slowly kick into your hand as you charge your body forward. Kicking, stretching, equal, Simultaneous, 50-50. The harder you kick, you can balance forever. So at first you're just finding a place where you can hold still and breathe. Once you can breathe, once you can balance, then try to get the heels in line. So come down, left heel on top of right heel, right shoulder forward, left shoulder back. Keep your chin and chest lifted, body down, leg up, kick, kick, kick. Good, change slowly, kick yourself up. Very nice, second set, right hand up, out to the right, reach back without turning or twisting your wrist. Pick up the inside of your right foot at the ankle, left arm up, right hip forward, knees together, lock your left leg, point your right toes, take a breath, stretch up, and slowly kick, stretch, and breathe. I moisturized my hands and feet right before class, and that was a mistake. That makes this posture so much harder. If your grip is sliding, Really push your foot into your hand. Left shoulder forward, right shoulder back. Time to come down, let's do it together. Body down to parallel, big toe to the ceiling. Kick, kick, kick. Good, change, kick yourself up. Whew, last one, bring your left hand up. Out to the left, reach back, pick up the inside of your left foot. At the ankle, right arm up, knees together. Lock your right leg, point your left toes, take a breath, stretch up, and slowly kick stretch and breathe. Feel it in your body. Feel your heart beating, lungs expanding, triceps tight, jaw relaxed, get the back bend. Stretch the top of your head up to the ceiling and your big toe up to the ceiling at the same time. Body down, leg up, kick, kick, kick. Good change, kick yourself up. Come to the back of your mat, Tulavandasana balancing stick. Feet together, inhale, arms overhead, palms together. Interlock your fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs, lean back. Step your right foot forward, stretch up, point your left toes, and tilt like a slow moving seesaw. One day coming down to parallel. Arms, body, head, legs, everything parallel to the floor. So from the side, body makes a T like Tom, not a broken umbrella. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Good, change, left foot down. 
right foot back, lean back, step your left foot forward, lock both legs, stretch up, point your right toes and tilt. Slowly come down, bring the chest down, chin forward, leg up. Bring your right foot a little to the right, drop your right hip down, biceps with ears, stretch, change, right foot down, left foot back, arms down, you stand a little taller. Second set, arms overhead, palms together, interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs, lean back, step your right foot forward, stretch up, point your left toes and tilt. So sometimes when we're dealing with an illness or an injury, just the setup is enough, right? I'm gonna stay right here, keep your arms with your ears, arms is an extension of your spine, stretch, 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 change, left foot down, right foot back, lean back, other side, step your left foot forward, lock both legs, Point your right toes, stretch up and tilt. Imagine you're trying to turn on a light switch with your right big toe. Keep your neck in line with the rest of the spine, biceps with ears, palms together, stretch, 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 change. Right foot down, left foot back, arms down. Enough of that. You can come to the top of your mat and face the long side of your mat for the next three postures. I will face you standing. Separate leg stretching, Dandayamana, Dikaptapada, Paschimottanasana. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, step your right foot to the right, big step. Toes in, heels out, chest up, and swan dive forward. Good, grab your heels from behind, roll forward, and touch your head to the floor. If your head's not touching the floor, try taking a slightly bigger or smaller step. If you can't grab your heels, try taking a slightly bigger or smaller step. If you still can't grab your heels, grab the outsides of your feet, grab your pinky toes, or start with your hands on the floor in front of you. Everybody roll forward. Find your edge, lift your hips, pull, stretch. One day head touches the floor in between your feet. Very nice, change, slowly come up, take your time. Press your hips forward, lean your upper body back, triangle, trikonasana, turn your right foot out and take a bigger step, wider step, make sure your heels are in line. Inhale, bend your right leg and lunge. Sit as low as you can. If your knee is going beyond your ankle, take an even bigger step. Knee over the ankle, sit down, lean back, whoop, and move your arms at the same time. Right elbow in front of the knee, left arm up to the ceiling, look up towards the ceiling, touch your chin to your shoulder, profile of your face visible to the side of your mat. Push your left hip forward and down, push your right knee back with the help of your elbow, sit down more, chest up more, turn, Twist upper body back, lock your left leg, keep your left foot flat on the floor. Change, rotate your arms, straighten your right leg, right toes in, left toes out. Make sure your heels are in line. Inhale, bend your left leg, sit as low as you can. You can take a bigger step if it helps you to sit down, lean back and move your arms. Elbow in front of the knee, right arm up to the ceiling. Make sure you're not touching the floor or pushing any weight on the floor. Hover your fingertips just beyond your big and second toe. Push your right hip forward and down. Push your left knee back with the help of your elbow. Reach your arms apart. Twist your upper body back. Lock your right leg. Keep your right foot flat on the floor. Change. Rotate your arms. Straighten your left leg. Turn your left toes in. Bring your arms up. Palms together. Cross your thumbs. Standing separate leg head to knee. Pivot on your heels to one side of the room. Turn your back toes in. Push your left hip forward. One, two, three, four, five times. Stretch up. Tuck your chin to your chest and slowly with control go down. We wanna go slowly in and out of this posture. It's a rounded spine posture. If at any point your back feels like it's pulling or tugging and not in a pleasant way, um, flatten out your back a little bit. Eventually you're gonna round your spine up towards the ceiling and touch your forehead and knee together. Front side compression, throat choked, eyes open, breathing normal. Push your forehead into your knee a couple times real quick. Lock both legs hands together, change slowly, uncurl, so your head comes up last. Good, pivot on your heels to the other side of the room, uncross your heels, turn your back toes in, press your right hip forward, stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest, and slowly go down. Make sure you have three to four feet between your feet, a generous step. If you're having trouble touching your knee and head together, you might want to take a bigger step. You can bend your front leg or turn your back toes in a little bit more to press the right hip forward. Chin to chest to abdomen in, eventually forehead and knee touch so you can round your whole upper body over half of your lower body. Good for you. Push your forehead into your knee, lock both legs, hands together. 
change, slowly come out, right hip forward, full stop at the top. Good, pivot on your heels, right foot back, arms down. Second set stretching, I'll show from the side, inhale, arms overhead, exhale, step right, foot to right, big step, lock your legs, lift your chest, swan dive forward, stick your butt up, all the way down, grab your heels. If you can, grab your feet, bend your elbows back, elbows to caps, shoulders up to the ceiling, belly button in towards the spine. Roll forward, find your edge, pull, stretch, lock your legs, take a bigger step if you need to. Roll forward again and touch your head to the floor in between your feet. Very nice, change, slowly come up, take your time, try to come up with a flat back. Okay, second set, triangle, press your hips forward, lean your upper body back, turn your right foot out, maybe left toes in a little bit, take a bigger step, bend your right leg, sit down, be humble, move your arms, right elbow in front of the knee, left arm up to the ceiling, look up towards the ceiling, touch your chin to your shoulder, make sure all five fingers together, thumb with your index finger. You wanna feel a stretch on your chest. Reach your left arm up, stretch your right arm down, arms at six and 12 o'clock, right rib cage forward, lock your left leg, keep your left foot flat on the floor. Change, rotate your arms, straighten your right leg, right toes in. Left toes out, two heels in line, bend your left leg, lunge, sit down, lean back, move your arms, elbow in front of the knee, right arm up to the ceiling, look up and stretch up. If you feel like your feet are sliding apart, imagine you're gonna squeeze your heels back together, feet stay in place, but that's the inner thigh strength you wanna engage. Sit down more, chest up more, turn, twist, lock your right leg, keep your right foot, flat on the floor, change, rotate your arms, straighten your left leg, left toes in, arms up, palms together, cross your thumbs, pivot on your heels, standing, separate leg, head to knee, Johnny Sharasana, turn your back toes in, press your left hip forward, stretch up tall, tuck your chin to your chest, and go down. Use your arms as an extension of your spine, like one long rainbow arc, chin tuck to chest, and you can take a bigger step, can bend your front leg, touch your knee and head together. Stretch your fingertips beyond your big and second toe. Bring maximum weight to your right front leg, right hip up, left hip forward, two hips in line. Push your forehead into your knee, lock both legs, hands together, change. Imagine you're dragging your forehead up your thigh, your chest, biceps with ears, head up, last. Good, pivot on your heels. I'm gonna show you from the front. Make sure your heels are in line, but not crisscross. That'll make this unnecessarily difficult. Turn your back toes in, press your right hip forward, stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest and go down. Can you look at your belly button all the way down? You cannot see your front foot all the way down. Chin to chest, stomach in, bend your front leg, touch your knee, head together, hold still and breathe. Push your forehead into your knee, lock both legs, hands together, change, slowly uncurl, chin to chest, head up, last, good. Pivot on your heels, right foot back, arms down. Wonderful, come to the middle of your mat, we're gonna flow tree to toe, tree pose, Tadasana. Lock your left leg, lift your right leg up, touch your heel to your costume, sole the foot flat to ceiling. Slowly, gently let your right knee drop down and back into a half lotus shape, never force your body. Right hand up to the center of your chest, and if you can balance, left hand up. Option to stay here or flow to toe stand. Start to fold forward, hands to the floor. At first, you just wanna walk your hands forward, lean forward, lift your heel, keep leaning forward, bend your knee, it down. Walk your hands back to either sides of your hips. Make sure you're having fun. Left hand up to the center of your chest. Right hand up, palms together, elbows down, spine straight, come a half inch off your heel. Good. Whenever you're ready, hands to floor. You can push your hands into the floor, lift your hips up to straighten your standing leg, and then press your hips forward to reverse out. Very nice change, right leg down, lock your right leg, lift your left leg up. And again, this side might feel different. One day heel to costume, sole of foot flat to ceiling. Let your left knee drop into a half lotus shape. Left hand, and if you can balance, right hand. Option to stay here or flow to toe stand. Abdomen in, fold forward. Hands to floor, lean forward like you're gonna do a, uh, a handstand. When you can't lean forward anymore, bend your right knee, sit down. Weight is in your arms as you sit. 
Whether you're in tree pose or toe stand, point your left toes. Press your left hip forward, left knee down, lean back, spine straight. Left hand, right hand, come a half inch off your heel if you're in toe. Good, when you're ready, hands to floor. You can come up on two feet or lift your hips up to straighten your standing leg and then press your hips forward to reverse out. Good, change left leg down, honor yourself, give yourself high five, fist bump, turn your hands, Savasana, head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. We are on the floor for the rest of class. I'm gonna adjust our camera angle just a little bit here. Wonderful. Okay, great. Head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. Bring your heels together, let your toes fall open, arms down, palms face to ceiling, eyes open, mouth closed, breathing normal. Take a slow inhale through your nose, slow exhale through your nose. The same way sometimes you just have to put one foot in front of the other. Sometimes you just have to relax your jaw and put one breath in front of the other, right? Slowly over time and breathe a little easier. Okay, come on, Muktasana, when you're moving pose, bend your right leg up, interlock your 10 fingers, grab your right shin just below the knee, nice tight white knuckle grip. Pull your knee out to the right, down towards your shoulder. Completely avoid your rib cage. Keep your head on the floor, look beyond the center line of your body and freeze. Change right leg down, bend your left leg up, pull your knee out and down, push the pads of your fingers into the backs of your hands to strengthen your grip. Pull down a little extra hard, try to keep the right shoulder and right leg on the floor. Change, left leg down, both legs lift up, grab your elbows each other, give yourself a big hug for coming to class. Whew, good for you, squeeze your knees together and down, keep your head on the floor, look down the center line of your body and hold still eventually or in the future when the bone joint skeletal system has improved, the whole spine from coccyx to the neck will be flat on the floor. Change, arms down and eyes open. Second set, bend your right leg up, interlock your 10 fingers, grab your right shin, nice tight grip, pull your knee out to the right, down towards your shoulder, avoid your rib cage, keep your head on the floor, push the pads of your fingers, into the backs of your hands to strengthen your grip. Change, right leg down, bend your left leg up, pull your knee out and down. Think about bringing the knee closer to the shoulder and then stretch your right heel towards the back wall. Change, left leg down, both legs lift up, grab your elbows each other, give yourself another big hug for coming to class, yes. Keep your heels in line side by side, head on the floor, tuck your chin in a little bit, puff your chest up a little bit head, neck, shoulders on the floor, belly button heavy like lead, middle spine on the floor, squeeze your knees together, press your shins into your forearms, hips onto the floor, so one day whole spine lengthens. Change, arms down and eyes open. Next we do a straight leg sit up. If you have any concerns about your back, you can skip the sit up by rolling off to the side. The sit ups are always optional. Otherwise, legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Elbows to floor, forehead to knees. Wonderful, turn, lie on your stomach. For the spine strengthening series, starting with Cobra, Bhujangasana, good for your lower lumbar spine. Place your hands flat on the floor, just below your shoulders, so your elbows point up to the ceiling. Sip up your legs like a cobra's tail. Lock your legs, look up, and lift. Stretch your upper body off the floor. Use 100% spine strength. Come up halfway only, just your belly button on the floor, the rest of your chest is in the air. Elbows stay bent, they make an L, a 90 degree angle. Roll your shoulders back and down, keep your feet together, lock your legs, lift your chin up, chest up, look up, stretch up, breathe up. Good, change slowly with control, lower down, flip to your right, left ear on your mat, arms down, palms face the ceiling, toes together, heels fall open. Second set, chin forward, hands flat on the floor, just below the shoulders, hands flat, not cupping, all five fingers together, feet together, lock your legs, knees together, look up and lift, stretch your upper body off the floor. So throughout the posture, you don't have two legs, you have one tail like a cobra, keep it intact, kiss knees, feet together, squeeze your butt, lock your legs. So think about lifting your kneecaps while pressing your feet, hips, and hands down. Feel the arms engage a little bit as the back muscles wake up. Lift your chin up, chest up. 
Good, change, slowly lower down. Look to your left right here on your mat, arms down. If looking left and right bothers your neck or shoulder, you can bend one or both arms so that your hands are close to your face and that will take pressure off of the neck shoulder. Look at Shalabhasana, bring your chin forward, arm straight position, rotate your arms, palms face the floor, bring your arms underneath you as best you can, one day pinky fingers touch. Lock your right leg, point your right toes, and lift your right leg up to a 45 degree angle, half of 90. See the foot come directly over the top of your head. Lengthen, lift, change, right leg down. Relax your right leg, lock your left leg, point your left toes, and lift your left leg up. Stretch the big toe to the wall behind you. Spiral your inner left thigh up so the sole of the foot is flat to the ceiling. Hip and forearm stay in contact. Change. Left leg down, third part, tuck your chin and mouth down, bring your arms elliptical closer underneath you, spread your fingers wide, mouth down, feet together, toes, heels touch, squeeze your butt, lock your legs, point your toes, and lift both legs up, come up, everybody come up, you can do it, struggle a little harder, don't give up, mouth down, shoulders down, triceps tight, squeeze your butt, lock your legs, lift your thighs up, good, change, lower down, bring your arms out, and look to the right. As you release the arms, you release the tourniquet effect, Fresh blood flows through the shoulders, elbows, wrists, and knuckles. Second set, bring your chin forward, arm straight position. Rotate your arms, palms face the floor. Bring your arms underneath you, spread your fingers wide. Lock your right leg, point your right toes, and lift your right leg up for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, Five, fingers wide, four, eyes open, three, jaw soft, two, shoulders down, one, change, right leg down, relax your right leg, lock your left leg, point your left toes and lift your left leg up. Notice if you're pressing your wrists down, try to press your knuckles down instead, root down through the palms, the shoulders, lock your leg, lift your heel, change, left leg down, grand finale, you can do it, tuck your chin and mouth down, yes you can, mouth down, yes you can, feet together, squeeze your butt, Lock your legs, point your toes, lift both legs up. Here we go. I'm doing it. You can do it too. Knees, feet together. Squeeze your butt. Lock your legs, point your toes, lift your thighs up. Good. Change. Slowly lower down. Bring your arms out. Look to the left. Right here on your mat. Slow inhale. And slow exhale. Okay. Full locus. Prana Shalabhasana. Bring your chin forward. Arms out to the side like airplane wings, feet together, toes and heels touch. Lock your legs, point your toes, look up and lift. Arms, body, head, legs, everything lifts off the floor like a 747 taking off. Very nice. Just your hips on the floor, the rest of your body's in the air. Look up towards the ceiling where your eyes go, body nose to follow. Full locust pose is so good for strengthening your back. Keep your neck in line with the rest of your spine so you're not dropping your head all the way down. You're also not jamming it all the way back. Stretch your arms apart. Keep your knees, feet together, thighs up, chin up, chest up, look up, come up a little higher at the end. Good, change, slowly lower down, tuck in your wings, look to the right. As you inhale, feel the backs of your ribs expand. And as you exhale, let your shoulders fall. Second section, forward, arms out to the side, feet together, toes, heels, touch. Lock your legs, squeeze your buns, point your toes, look up, and lift. Everything lifting off the floor, so good. Keep your fingers together. Hands should be at a 45 degree angle. So rather than having your palms face the floor or the ceiling, you want thumbs at a 45 degree angle. Knees, feet together, that's a nice little shoulder opener there. Shoulders apart, knees, feet together, lock your legs, thighs up, chin up, chest up, look up, come up a little higher at the end. Good, change slowly with control, lower down, tuck in your wings. Look to the left, to the left, everything you own in a box, to the left. Don't hear off snow floor bow, bring your chin forward, bend your legs, grab your feet from the outside, two inches below the toes. If you can't grab both feet, grab one foot, opposite arm out in front, second set, switch it out. Knees, feet together, squeeze your buns, point your toes, look up, and start to kick into your hands. Very nice, continuously keep kicking, looks good, without stopping, without intermission, it's the kick that drives the posture, beautiful. Roll forward, freeze between your ribs and hips, hold still. Do little sips of air in and out through your nose. Try to get your thighs off the floor, big toes to the ceiling, chest lifts, kick, kick, kick. Good, change, slowly lower down, look to your right, and take a breath. Feel your heart beating. 
It's pretty cool. Sack and set, bring your chin forward, bend your legs, grab your feet or the opposite foot from the outside, point your toes, squeeze your tush, hold on tight, look up and kick. You're kicking in two directions. You're kicking back and you're kicking up. If your knees hurt in this one, think about kicking up more than about kicking back. Try to get feet in line, shoulders in line, knees in line, wrist straight, point your toes, look up, kick, 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 kick. Good, change slowly, lower down, look to your left and let that one go. All right, bring your chin forward, hands to the floor, push up, come to the top of your mat for a fixed firm, Supta Vajrasana. I'm gonna show you first step from the side. Start in tabletop, open your knees, open your feet, Point your toes to the back of your mat so the insides of your feet are parallel. As you're ready, slowly sink your hips down and walk your hands back. You can keep your hands in front of you, beside you, or behind you the whole time. The world is your oyster. If you can sit down between your heels and you're not in pain, put your hands on your feet, right elbow down, left elbow down, drop your head back, head to floor, tuck your chin in, neck, shoulders on the floor, arms over your head, grab your elbows, each other, and hold. Wherever you are is just perfect. If you want a gentle stretch through your toes, ankles, knees, thighs, and hips, but never a point of pain. Change. Put your hands on your feet, push yourself up, head up last, very nice, turn around, savasana. Head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. As you release the posture, you release the tourniquet effect on the lower body, fresh blood rushes through the hips, knees, ankles, toes. Feel the blood circulating all the way down to the tips of your toes. You are always welcome to skip sit-ups by rolling off to the side, especially if your back is bothering you today. Otherwise, legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. <sighs> Wonderful, okay, come to the top of your mat, second set. You can open your knees, open your feet. You can keep your hands in front of you beside you or behind you the whole time. One day sit down between the heels, doesn't have to be today. If you can sit between your heels, put your palms on your soles, right elbow, left elbow, drop your head, head to floor, tuck your chin, neck, shoulders on the floor, arms over your head, grab your elbows each other, maybe opposite elbow on top. If that's all gravy, slide your knees back together, but knees never come off the floor. Change, put your hands on your feet, Push yourself up like you're doing the limbo. Yes, head up last, turn around, savasana. Joe Biden says we will all be doing the limbo together again by the 4th of July, right? That's what he said, right? Okay. <laughs> Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Something like that. <sighs> Good, okay. Come to the back of your mat, half cordis. I'm gonna show you from the side. Sit knees, feet together, hips on your heels. Arms over your head, palms together, cross your thumbs, stretch up and go down. You're welcome to put one or both hands on the floor or go down forehead to floor first, little fingers to floor. Reach your arms forward, sink your hips down, stretch, stretch, stretch. Good, change, come on up, biceps of yours. You can also put your hands or hand on the floor to push up, arms down, turn around, savasana. So you can always use your hands to help you in and out of this posture, and then you just wanna stretch with a flat back. Also, all of these postures where we're like on our, you know, toes, ankles, shins, knees, it's called the fixed firm series, because from the ankles to the toes, we're fixed firmly on the floor. If you have like sensitive toes or ankles or knees, feel free to roll up your mat a little bit or put a blanket underneath. So there's a little extra padding on those sensitive joints, no problem. Legs together. Arms over your head, biceps with the ears, squeeze your butt, sit up. Good, okay. Come to the back of your mat, second set, half tortoise, sit knees, feet together, hips on your heels, arms up, palms together, cross your thumbs, stretch up, and slowly with control go down. Can you touch your forehead to the floor first? And then your little fingers, reach your arms forward, sink your hips down, re-energize, reorganize, Revitalize. Good, change, come up. Knees together, feet together, palms together. Nice, arms down, turn around, savasana. Let your body stretch out and realign between every set of every posture. 
Okay, legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Try to keep your heels on the floor. Good, come to the top of your mat, camel ustrasana or deepest back bend. Stand on your knees, six inches between your knees and your feet. Place your hands on your lower back, thumbs outside, fingers down to the floor. Press your hips forward, keep your eyes open, look up. Lift your nose, lift your chin. One day had to relax his back. Option to stay here or keep your hands on your back, go back halfway, freeze in the middle. Option to stay here or when you're ready, right hand down, grab your right heel, left hand down, grab your left heel. Thumbs outside, fingers inside, full palm grip on your heels. In back bends, when we expose the front of the body, you might feel your central nervous system turn on a bit. So if you're feeling a little bit like lightheaded when you do a back bend, keep your eyes open, but know that there's nothing wrong with you and there's nothing wrong with you doing the posture. It's just the nervous system doing its thing. Change, put your hands on your back, push yourself up, head up last, very nice, turn around, savasana, head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. Um, Neurologically, we can't really process events until after they've, ha after they've happened. Like, you know, you can't actually process a bear attack until after you're safe from the bear is like the, the most obvious example. But this happens in other parts of our life too, um, including yoga. So sometimes after a posture is when we get a big surge. It could be like an emotion or just a sensation in your body or a shift in something. Um, that's quite normal, right? You do the posture, you come out, and then your body goes, whoa, what was that? So if you're experiencing that now or ever in yoga, that is um, really normal. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. You're going to come to the top of your mat, second side. You can open your knees a little wider, eight to 10 inches between your knees. Still keep six inches between your feet. Put your hands on your lower back. Maybe think about bringing elbows together behind you. Mm. Push your hips forward, keep your eyes open. One day head drops back. One day go back halfway. Eventually or in the future, grab your heels. If you can't grab your heels, keep your hands on your back. It's safer for your spine. Press your hips forward, lift your chest up, squeeze your shoulders together. Drop your head, breathe. Good, change, put your hands on your back, push yourself up, head up last, very nice, turn around, savasana, let everything stretch and realign. One thing I've learned over the years from yoga is like anything that you're experiencing experiencing in this class is normal. It's happened before. And if you ever ask a teacher like, hey, is this normal? And they're like, I've never heard of that. It's not because you're doing something abnormal. It's just because they haven't encountered it yet. I know that like, and the longer you teach, the more things you encounter. So if you ever talk to a yoga teacher and they're like, oh, that's weird. It's not actually weird. It's just that they haven't met another person like you before, right? Or like that specific thing that you're dealing with. But the cool thing about yoga, it's been practiced long enough by like a diverse enough group of people that like pretty much everything you're feeling in this class, somebody has felt it before, somebody will feel it again. And in a world where we're increasingly isolated, I think this is a nice moment of interconnectivity. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good, come to the middle of your mat for rabbit, sasangasana. Bring knees, feet together, hips on your heels, make L's with your hands like little bunny ears. Grab your heels from the outside, thumbs outside, fingers inside, stretch up. Tuck your chin to your chest and go down, chin to chest. Stomach in, forehead to knees, automatically top of head to floor, pull on your heels, don't lose the grip, lift your hips up. If there's a gap between your knees and head, you can walk your knees up one by one, but head stays in place. Squeeze your heels together, press your hips forward, lift your shoulders up, round your spine. Good change, hips down, slowly uncurl, vertebra by vertebra, disc by disc, cut up last, very nice, turn around, savasana, head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. Okay, take a breath, enjoy the breath, go again, legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good, middle of your mat. Knees, feet together, hips on your heels, grab your heels, stretch up tall, lengthen your spine, tuck your chin to your chest, go down. Try to articulate your vertebrae, like you want to feel each and every part of your back moving, forehead to knees, top of head to floor, pull on your heels, don't lose the grip, lift your hips up, shoulders up, squeeze your heels together, 
squeeze your heels together, squeeze your heels together. Sometimes you have to hear things a few times to internalize it. So if nobody has told you yet today, you are loved, you are loved, you are so loved. Change hips down, slowly uncurl, vertebra by vertebra, disc by disc, cut off last, turn around, savasana. I think one of the smart things about this style of yoga, right? We do almost everything twice and then we, you know, theoretically people practice it all the time too, right? So it's in within the repetition, we start to hear new things sometimes when we're ready to hear it, right? But sometimes we have to hear things a few times to really to understand it. We're going to do one set of head to knee with stretching. After I was talking about repetition, we're only going to do one set, legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good. Come to the middle of your mat and towel. Johnny Shirasana head to knee pose. Right leg out, left leg in, two legs make an L, as in legs. Inhale, arms overhead, stretch up. Exhale, turn to your right, tuck your chin to your chest, go down. Bend your front leg if you need to. Interlock your 10 fingers up to the webbing under the ball of your foot. Touch your exactly forehead and knee together. Flex your toes back, bend your elbows down, suck your stomach in, left elbow down, left shoulder down. Change, arms up, left leg out, right leg all the way in, stretch up. Turn to your left, tuck your chin to your chest and go down. If it's easy to touch your forehead and knee together with a bent leg, keep going, see if you can straighten or even lock your leg. Try to bring right rib cage closer to left thigh, elbows down, right hip down, right elbow down, two shoulders in line. Change, arms up, both legs out in front of you. If you're skipping, sit up, stay here. Otherwise, lay down, let your spine realign and sit up. <sighs> Pashimottanasana stretching, bend your knees, hook onto your big toes of your peace sign fingers, middle and index fingers, thumbs on top, scoot your butt back, right, left, right, left, 10 to 15 times. Knees can stay bent if that helps you keep a flat back. If your legs are straight, see if you can lock your legs, pop up your chest and start to fold forward. Shoulders back, chest forward, stomach to thighs, chest to knees, keep pulling, keep stretching, one day toes and head touch. Good, change. Stay seated for spine twist. Bend your left leg on the floor. Touch your right heel to your left knee. Right arm close behind you, left arm up and over. Grab your left knee with your left hand, hand, heel, and knee touch. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, look over right shoulder twist. You can keep your right hand behind you or reach behind you for a half bind. Keep spine straight, chest up, rib cage open. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, look back, twist, twist, twist. Good, change, unwind, swap out your legs. We bend your right leg on the floor. You can also have your right leg long. Otherwise, left arm behind you, right arm up and over. Grab your right knee with your right hand. Look down. If you're sitting on your right foot, slide it out of the way. Roll to the left. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, look over left shoulder and twist. You can keep your left hand behind you or wrap behind you for half bind. Keep the right knee down. Point your right toes, left big toe on the floor. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, look back, twist and twist and twist. Good, change, unwind, turn around, savasana. Well, I'm very proud of us. We um, started a couple minutes late, I apologize about that, but we are, it is five o'clock exactly, so getting out of here. Go team, legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. <sighs> Wonderful, come to the middle of your mat. For final breathing, Kapalabhati breathing. Sit knees, feet together, hips on your heels, hands on your thighs, if it hurts to sit on your feet. Don't do it silly, sit on your butt, crisscross applesauce. Every once in a while, try to sit on your feet. Lick your lips, swallow a couple times, concentrate, meditate. All you have to do is exhale. Five, four, three, two, one. So you exhale through your mouth as you pull your abdomen in, then the stomach relaxes, the lungs subtly but automatically take in air. Sit up nice and tall, shoulders down, away we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Good for you. Honor yourself. Give yourself a hug. High five. Pat on the back. Oh, yes. Turn around. Savasana. Close your eyes. Open your arms and legs. Anything that still feels a little heavy or tense, just let it go with the exhale breath. As we transition seasons, 
And also as we start to like transition with COVID and other stuff like that, um, this yoga is a tool. The yoga stays the same when everything else around you is changing, right? And it's this nice little opportunity to get back to yourself. And also to realize, you know, an obvious example would be if you eat ice cream right before class, class doesn't feel so good. But then you start to realize more subtle things. Like if you um, drink water throughout the day, class feels better. If you get a good night's sleep, um, maybe if you like do something that like feeds your soul, right? Like reading a book or having a, you know, a phone conversation with a friend, you might find class feels better those days as well. So just encourage you to use this yoga, these asanas as a tool. It's not about the yoga. It is always about you. Take an inhale through your nose. Just enjoying your experience in your own body. Focus on your exhale breath, connecting mind and body through the breath. Breathe in, feel the chest rise. Empty out, let your shoulders fall. You are so very alive. 